Hello there. And welcome to <laughs> May 2020 Squad Ops Community Meeting. Uh, I have a couple quick announcements, and then we will get into more Q&A type form in the uh, community. I think it's called, let me check, Community Meeting Text Channel. Uh, that right now is going to be locked. I believe you guys can see it. Let me double check. It is unlocked. It's unlocked. Wait. Is everyone? Okay. Perfect. Staff? Everyone should be able to see the community meeting channel right now. You can't type. Staff, please don't type. Um, all right. We're going to get into the announcements, and then we'll move on to questions. Um, the reason why the channel is locked right now is I'm going to post a couple things, and I don't want them to get lost. Frost, please mute. All right, uh, as some of you may have seen in the announcements channel, Karma is stepping down from the director role and he's moving towards a founder role. He will still be around and participating in operations, but the majority of day-to-day -day decisions will be handled by managers. Also kind of new, the text channels. There's been a, a lot of text channel that, I can't speak, text channel additions. Um, Right now we are in the testing phase. We're going to be monitoring the channels and seeing which are active and which we should uh, delete or maybe add new channels. Um, for SOT team, some of you saw the SOT team is currently testing a new CQC course on the new and improved training map. Uh, the course is expected to go live in the next week or so. Okay, sorry about that. All right, uh, community team. As discussed in our last community meeting, the community team will be running the occasional reg event where you guys can join. These events will be titled Reg vs. Pubby on the calendar. So keep your gut, keep the eyes out for that and just be aware that they aren't like our standard operations and they're more focused on like cool, interesting concepts and just more relaxing attitude. Our mod dev team has been working on new things such as barrel bombs and new guns and new vehicles. I'm going to post a huge link. So if you guys want to go to the community meeting text channel, there's a video of barrel bomb scars. There's some pictures um, missing. One or, why didn't these? And yeah, last the last vehicle. So yeah, I'm gonna get everyone a couple of seconds to look at them. All right, and for our admin team, uh, we had a successful free weekend. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming out and helping out the new players. Right now, our current server list includes a normal squad, the mixed mode server, and then we have our hardcore mod, mixed modes one and then a hardcore mod invasion. We also have a Postscriptum server, so I know the Postscriptum update just came out, so if you're interested in that, um, we do have that option available. And as some of you may have realized, the V19 SDK was released, so uh, we can guess, assume, hope that the new update will be coming soon. So just be aware that there might be some downtime for the hardcore mod servers as we're trying to you know, fix the, fix the mod. All right. Media team. Media team is looking for commentators. If you have a good voice and understand what we do here at Squad Ops and you know how to stream, put a staff app in for the media team and DM Expo. They're also looking for producers slash video editors that can take raw media and create their own videos. For example, you know, training videos, highlight reels, promos. Um, they will also be posting past operations to the YouTube channel. Um, that is mostly due to Headbusta. He's been doing you know, all of that. So thank you, Headbusta, for converting all the VODs and uploading them on YouTube. Make sure to check, out us, check us out on YouTube and follow. I think the link is in the readme. All right, Mission Dev. Mission Dev is only accepting mission ideas for the Jinx style operations. Please use this pass mission doc as an example and format you should be following. I just posted that format for any of you interested. Um, um, with V19 coming soon, our operations on the calendar are going to be listed as coming soon since we don't know when the, the uh, update will be released. And it, it all depends on mod availability or you know what operation we can run. So if you see any last minute changes to that, that's 
also op design mission dev um they're going to be moving to focus on more mars type ops and ops that have you know unknown or highly randomized options so they can be run over and over again and they won't become stale and they'll hopefully create unique moments and engagements we will run you know our normal operations here and there but we're going to be trying to move into the unknown category to freshen things up postscriptum ops on mars are going to be coming we're waiting for periscope to release more versions of the new maps expect a ps op sometime this month Lastly, over the Memorial Day weekend, we will be running a campaign. So keep your eyes out on the calendar for that. So right now, if you just joined, I've posted a couple things in the community meeting text channel. Um, and so very shortly, we're going to be opening up the text channel for questions. So start thinking of what you want to say. Um, yeah, let me go edit that. And for the questions, let's try to keep it squad ops oriented, you know, very specific, like, I don't know when V19 is dropping, stuff like that, stuff like I can't answer, like very squad related things. Keep it to more squad ops related. Let me edit the channel. Okay, you should be able to send messages. Um, so just type out some questions and we'll answer them. If I take breaks, it's uh, blowing my nose. It's allergy season. <laughs> uh, Roman, question. When you are moving to Mars Ops, how many ops do you think per month? We're going to still keep our normal set on Wednesday and Saturday. And you know the occasional Sunday or Friday. So we're going to keep the operation numbers where they're at. I'm just saying instead of playing like Operation Fishhook, we're going to be playing a, you know, a more Mars or Jinx style unknown. So we're going to have the same magnitude of ops. They're just going to be different styles. Robotic. Uh, how does one become a regular and how long does it take? I love to participate in more events, but I like to regulars. Um, so to become a regular... What I like to say, it's, you know, be chill, be friendly with everyone, you know, participate a lot. As for, you know, timing, um, it's it really depends. I mean, I took six months. Some people take a year. It We don't have really a set time for you to become a regular. Any questions? If, for those just joining, if you have any questions Squad Ops related, go to the community meeting text channel. It's in Squad Ops discussion and post some questions. While we wait, I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, Star Wars meme at the beginning. Ziggy, I completed the training years ago. Will I need to retake them? Uh, message a SOP member. So if you go to the right side of Discord and you click their name, if they have the SOTT tag, hit them up and they'll get that sorted for you. There's also the SOT help channel you can use. Oh, yeah. Also the SOT help channel. I'd go in there. Tomcat, will the Botter website be getting any improvement optimization soon? Yes. We're always working on that. I know uh, some of you are aware of some bot issues during roll call. Yes, it's being worked on. Nuclear, with the wait for B19 ever present, I get that there's sometimes a lack of op posted. Once B19 drops, will ops be posted on a more regular schedule? Um, the ops will, the yep. ops will probably be posted on you know how they normally like, you know our normal tempo now. It's just that for the time being, they're going to be posted as operation coming soon. It really depends. Um, I would just recommend everyone in here to just check the calendar at least once every day, and you should be good. Dorf, did you have something about that? or Saying that there's two weeks worth of ops that are currently posted. Okay. Uh, legit fake ID. How many hours in squad and operations participated would you recommend before applying to staff? Uh, it depends what staff team you want to be on. You know, for event staff, 
you know, we look for more hours, more operations because, you know, you're running the events. Same with SOT team uh, teaching stuff. As for media and, you know, mission dev, if you have like, if you're really good at editing videos or doing cool media stuff, you know, I'd apply right now. They're looking for people. Um, and same for mod dev. Um, Pony is interested in adding more people. You just, you have to be good at what you do if, you know, you have less time under your belt. All right. Um, Grunt, I heard there will be a Fallujah Arms when it's released. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, I would be surprised if we don't. Any questions for those that just joined, uh, go to the community meeting text channel and you can ask anything, you know, squad ops related that I could hopefully answer. Sophisticated Wolf, are there plans for an app? You mean like an app for the website or? Yeah, website. Um, it has been talked about right now that it isn't their main goal. Maybe in the far, far future. For those that just joined, if you have any questions squad ops related, put it in the community meeting text channel. I'm going to take a sip of water. And for those that just joined, if you scroll up a little, uh, there's some pictures and videos of stuff uh, mod dev team has been working on. It's very interesting. Um, WG, I'm interested in helping out with SOT. Does Squad Ops have a list of helpers? Yes. Um, SOT, there is a SOT helper tag. Um, you can message anyone in the SOT team or go into SOT help and ask about that. If anyone from SOT is here to give more info on that. Uh, generally speaking, the... Uh... The SOT helper tags reserved for regulars and above because we want a baseline of, of maturity in the community. But uh, if we see you around, we'll, we'll come to you. In the interest of May the 4th be with you, any Star Wars mod ops planned? As of now, no. Maybe next year, maybe we could scrap something together. A little late on that <laughs> uh chaos what would i do as what would i as a new player be able to do once i complete the SOT? yeah once you complete SOT basic um you can now register for our operations and you can play in them um once you do have your basic tag um so it's going to start rolling out you know uh specialty courses so you could also do those uh, nuclear potato what what in an ideal world would be your goal for a number of staff and regs? I've heard there's one point I want to know. There's no ideal number as for regulars. It's more if we see you around, you know, we like you, you'll quote unquote vibe, you know, with our guys, then we'll add you. As for staff, staff, it really depends on the manager and the team. So I run community team and we don't do as much as, you know, event staff. Event staff needs a lot of people because we have a lot of ops, but community, I only have like five or six guys. So um, we don't have any any hard limits on any of that stuff. Uh, question about the mod for the barrel bomb. You, have you guys messed with the size of the explosion much? Yeah, I do think they're going to be messing with the size of the explosion. Kodo. I'm new to playing squad and was playing on the op server as part of squads that were running vehicle requiring crew roles, but I wasn't comfortable speaking up about it. Is there anything I should do? Yeah, if you're not comfortable with uh, running vehicles, um, you know, I would make that apparent or just leave the squad and join a different one. Normally, they'll mark their squads if they want to run, you know, heavy vehicles. I'm going to butcher your name, so I'm not going to say it. Will the V... V bed uh, pickup trucks and big trucks be released soon because it's been a while and they're not implemented. Um, is Pony here? He could probably answer that way better. The nope. Pickups are in the little Jerry's in on one or two maps right now. Yeah, for 
for the barrel bombs and little Jerry, that's our big, you know, boom, boom truck. Those are in, you know, very select layers. At, um, Tapper Shade, sorry, new member just joined. How do I get on the wait list for SOT? So, you know, make a website account and just either register if the on confirmed if the list is open or just wait list if it's not. And I would, I'd recommend just showing up anyway. A lot of people know show and you probably have a chance. To Liberal, not a question, just procedure. For those that do not want to see any the new text channels, oh, okay. Roach, I'm new in squad. I want to plan operations and stuff. I saw the calendar. There's only one SOT basic, and it's on Saturday, but I'm working from home and it works Saturday. Um, so for SOT basics, they run around six per month. I would just keep on checking the calendar. Um, I think they're going to be posting them soon. I would check the calendar calendar once a day. Um, will the new content ops that you've just shown be playable on the public servers or event? Okay, that guy's going to... He's banned. All right, can someone delete those? Yeah, I got it. One sec. All right. Um, so the question was public servers or event server. Um, as of now, the new content is only on the public servers. Um, I do believe you can use the SCAR in our events. That's for the rifle minute and squad lead. But as of now, barrel bombs um, are just for the, the public servers. Uh, Frenzy, what is SOT Airborne going to go through slash teach? Is there any SOT member that can go into more detail than I? So uh, SOT Airborne was more like a uh, air assault course. It was when the heli mod came out and we were really into it. Um, it's It's been kind of defunct for a minute. We're, we're not at the moment thinking of bringing it back. All right. Um, Kodu, they were running. They were running interlift squads were part of entry and part vehicles requiring crew rolls in the school. Um, yeah, for heavy vehicles like tanks, they, they need dedicated squads, but for like MRAPs and lighter vehicles, they could be mixed with the squad. I just try to try to make it apparent that you don't want to do that. And if they're saying you don't have a choice, I'd just leave the squad and join a different one. Uh, salt merch store when, uh, the idea has been floating around. We are working on it when? I don't know. Uh, Brib, can we get a second SOT this week? I think they're going to be posting them shortly, so I just check the calendar, you know, every every couple hours or every day. Guardian, okay. Hank, is this going to be a Q&A or some sort of a community announcement that I missed? Yeah, Hank, you missed most of the community announcements. If you scroll up, you can see um, a couple of things the mod dev team has been worked on. Um, just, I'll give a little short blurb at the end of this about stuff people missed. Or you know what? I'll just post a, a short little text thing in a announcements channel after this. Nuclear potato. Is there a way to donate to a website using PayPal? No, but I know they're working on that. Guardian, uh, is there any advanced certification course planned for the near future? Yeah, CQC. Um, so if you take in basic, then you are, then you can take the CQC course. I think they're going to try to run one very soon. I see a lot of stock courses not being held anymore, like FTL certified AWS uh, are any going to be held anytime soon. So AWS has been changed to advanced, and those run around one a month. FTL is no longer run. Butterfly has one life public public server tried before. Actually, we did do a public server that kind of uh, did that. Um, we have thrown around the idea. Yeah, so we had a uh, for a short time. Uh, I don't know a year ago now, uh, maybe over a year ago. Part of the hardcore mod was one one life it had one life aspects to it um but it's since been 
obsolete. Um, I think Pony's just not been working towards that for various reasons. So cool. Um Taper, who are the frontline people able to reach out if you have any questions? If you have any questions, just go into general help and anyone who's online will uh, be able to help you. Along with squad and postscriptum, what future games have been considered? Yeah, we're we consider games all the time. Uh, you know, criteria. We just wanna we we have to look into you know what type of experience we want to provide. But we have definitely thought of other games, and we are currently considering a couple. Frost. Okay. Um, for those of you that just joined, uh, you missed most of the announcements. I'll post something in the announcements channel once this is over. Uh, if you have any questions, you can type them out in the community meeting text channel. Uh, has there been any mind put into giving the Russian faction kids more optics when compared to U.S. disadvantage? Um, I do. I don't think so. I haven't heard anything about that personally. But if you want to put that in the mod suggestions text channel, uh, it is right. Um, above this channel, Ops Mod Discussion. And no, Roman. <laughs> we will tell you when we want to tell surprise. you. <laughs> if we do anything, it's going to be a, a nice surprise. Trainee role, those are for people who are joining a staff team, but they haven't completed the necessary training, so they look purple. Yeah, we're, Oscar, we're going to do Arma on Minecraft. That's, that's our next op. That's sarcasm, just so we're clear. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if you just joined, um, this meeting is coming to a close. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the community meeting text chat. Uh, if we, if you didn't, if you weren't here at the beginning, uh, we'll, uh, post a little, you know, summary of all the announcements you missed. So we're going to do, I don't see any questions. So last call for any squad ops related questions, please. In the community meeting text chat. Can a liberal do a medic course? That's funny. Maybe, maybe liberal, if he has any free time, could type something up. <laughs> Is there a tool that allows people to track the amount of ops who participated in? I know it's a general. Um, so you could look at the number of messages the bot has sent you with Control F if you search like a keyword to whenever you register. That's how I do it. Um, but that's also, you know, if you unregister or you get moved from the wait list. So, you know, give or take a couple, like maybe 20 to 30, depending on if, you know, you don't show up, all that jazz. All right, last call for questions. We're going to wrap this up in around five minutes. So if you have any questions, put in the community meeting text chat. Are the mods going to add more med stuff? I'm assuming you mean medical. As of now, nothing like medical related is planned. But uh, if new possibilities come up with the SDK, I, I, they might try. Oh, nuclear. Yeah. There's Besides that, there's really no other way. Uh, Frenzy, what does Barton do in the Squad Ops community? Yeah, he does a lot. He does website, the bot, everything under the sun. Ajax, are there any ping restrictions to play ops? No, but there are a, uh, setting restrictions. And of course, you have to take the basics, the SOP basic course. Um, for the settings restrictions, that sh you should be able to see that in the operation announcements channel and just scroll to our most recent. Yeah, praise Barden. <laughs> All 
All right. This will be the la last call for questions. Um, I'm going to lock the channel in like two minutes. So type it up and then I'll answer. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming out. 58 people. Not too bad. My favorite candy uh, depends. I like a Sour Patch right now. How do I, how do I thumbs down this? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the sound effects at the beginning. Uh, how will dragging influence the whole ops training and events? Um, personally, I don't think it's going to impact anything because you can't revive people. Now for the Mars, that might change stuff. That would be cool. Has there ever been an idea to run an operation where it's like a small group of five operators trying to evacuate a contested area? Uh, yeah, that has come up a couple times. The issue with doing that is, um, we you know we try to give an experience for eighty players in the server, and it's that would require you know a lot of work, a lot of team switching, and you know we try to give everyone a a baseline experience. Um, it's it's difficult to do that with only like five v forty or something like that. But we have thrown. <laughs> yeah, that idea around. Are you single? <laughs> Any last minute questions? I'm going to lock this channel down in two minutes. So it's the limitations of the game and not the group. I, a little bit of both. Uh, it's just not the experience we're, we're trying to give our, our players. It's harder to do that with you know a 5v40 rather than a 40 versus 40. Um, server player expansion. Do you mean like more servers? Eighty? Uh, no. Right now, that's the max we could do. That that's a game limit. All right. If you got any more questions, I'm locking the channel in one one minute. Hundred players when? Hopefully soon. That would be cool. 50 versus 50 or do something interesting with that. Yeah, three weeks. What's up with the server recently? Quite a lot of issues. Yeah, we've been tracking the issues. Uh, Barden's handling it. He's aware. The squad ups event are trying to have realism with squad becoming less realistic. Uh, you know, we try to we try to balance, you know, realism and milsim and you know arcade. You know, we're not as arcade as squad, but we're not as like serious as milsim. So we're kind of in the middle. And um yeah, with realism, you know, we try to, you know, we're not adding lasers, we're adding the scar, the STG. Serious fun, yeah. Uh, any clan wars like OBS or SAD, etc.? Uh, right now, no. Um, if anyone here is from another clan and interested in doing stuff like that, you can DM me. But right now, no. <laughs> F16. <laughs> All right. Everyone typing, I hope you have a question. I'm going to lock the channel in 30 seconds. So please ask questions before I lock. Squad Ops questions. All right. I'm going to lock it in three, two, one. All right. So if you, I'm just going to wrap this up real quick. If you have any questions that I wasn't able to ask or we ran out of time, you can always ask them in the general help channels. Um, if you just joined or joined in the middle, I'm going to try to post a very short summary of the announcements you missed and post all, you know, all those screenshots above. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming out and uh, yeah, thanks for coming out guys.